Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, hardest difficulty, single save, and no missions that uh, can be lost. Uh, it's time to investigate the hydroelectric plant, uh, not to only stabilize downtown, uh, downtown and its unrest, but also to earn some credits uh, thanks to our uh, level 3 field team. We got a bit of a mix up in our team because Terminal finally. Um, uh, received her promotion is now our n n uh, first level 5 character we can take other characters uh, with us and uh, Torque is going to benefit or profit um, from that because she's uh, going to join us and hopefully get some experience Verge, Blueblood and Shirop still I think will have no problem uh, dealing with uh, the situation uh, themselves and for those of you who uh, noticed we have upgraded uh, the armor inlets um, a while ago um, and are now probably looking for more uh, weapon upgrades as time goes by i'm excited about um, the level five characters find out their connection to this place I'm excited about the level 5 characters because we are now like slowly transitioning the team and switching it up so you guys uh, can see a couple of different team combinations that I think are helpful. Entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. That is really, really, really bad. And we might want to generally get a key card, um, but can't change it. We're going to go in and... Let's do the breach. All right, so a face is one, another face is one, an adder, and a python. We're definitely going to use phalanx here. Got a face is one, and another face is one. You know what? Let's start with the face is one. It's all fun until uh, you get uh, hit by these guys. Then it's not fun anymore. All right. Thanks to Phalanx, we do not have a problem. But unfortunately, everyone is marked. That's a pretty nasty debuff, by the way. Three encounters, so I don't want to give away all of our uh, cooldowns right away. We do not have a healer, uh, meaning we might need to be a bit more careful. Can't immediately hit those guys or uh, knock them out. But we can knock out the faceless one. Let's try that. Good. It would have healed two hit points on his turn. So it's actually efficient to knock him out right away. Oh, look at you disabling our psionica. Well. That stinks. We lost two of our uh, two of our time units. Got to deal with the Dominator. We couldn't hit him right away. Good. Let's take a look. What do we want to do? I think it's fair to say the Dominator is one of uh, the most annoying enemies. So how about we're just pulling him? Yep, sounds like a plan. And then binding him, essentially trading our turn for his, and he is taking two points of damage every round. Uh, from the third round onwards, he's taking four points of damage, so he will eventually die, which is great.
Uh, time to deal with the vipers. Unfortunately, a miss. Um, our face lance, however, would hit. So, to make sure that that's going to be worth our time, let's set up the Viper first. Another miss. Gosh. This is going to kill the Muton, but not the Python. That's why I wanted to set it up first. Blue Blood is getting his shield. And this might end the encounter, which would be a problem. I don't want that. We need to heal up. Because Verge has still taken damage. Python is not going anywhere. So we're going to take one more hit points of healing on Verge until the end of the round. And next round we're going to take that again. Just need to wait until it's his turn again. So, preparation. Yes. Shields up. I'll cover you. The Python is fully stunned, so won't do anything. The Dominator can't do anything because uh, it's bound. Did he still heal? No. Well, that stinks. I should have waited just one more bit. Great Phoenix is here in force. Looks like they're guarding a supply transfer. Are the supplies going in or coming out? Out, it looks like. What supplies can you remove from a hydroelectric plant? Generators, maybe. Or parts for generators? Perfect, so... We could take Torque through the vent, or we're all going through the same entrance, which I think is the better idea. I like the whole going through the vent uh, piece, but yeah. Good, got an adder and a domi oh yeah, the dominator will be our main target. Fortunately, pretty well shielded there. Uh, let's not take uh, too much damage, so we're levitating the adder. I was honestly hoping that we could deal more damage to the Dominator. Not a single shot hit. Wow, that's bad. Okay. So, first things first, let's get Blue Blood up.
Secondly, Blue Blood gets a kinetic shield and a nice lame bonus. We're prepping the faces one. Good, we do not have a great target for face lance, I'm afraid. Oh boy, it's one of these days. Come on. Thank you. Alright, at least the Dominator is moving in. Mind Control is a bit different here. As soon as he takes a single point of damage, as soon as he takes a single point of damage, Mind Control would be broken, which is great. We're taking out the Python. That's a full control. Perfect. And let's force the Paladin to deal some damage. Got two enemies in our neural network. And the Dominator takes damage. That's exactly what we wanted. That was foreseeable. The faces ones are actually doing quite a lot of damage once uh, they get close to you. Okay, so Torque, what are we going to do with you? How about we're moving you down here? How about further? Oh, that's a great one. I'll, I would love to take the Dominator. Tongue grab. Nice. Okay, again, shield for him. I'm going to be greedy and collect the evidence. The team is still doing super well, which I like. There's just a lot of synergy between all of them. Yeah, I think we can just be in half cover here. To be honest, I don't mind that at all. Slowly but surely setting up for the Paladin. And then healing ourselves.
Oh wow, really? Well, I guess time to heal ourselves. Good, he sets up everything. I'm nearly dry. Good yeah, and we, sh we should be fine now. Just need to deal with the python. And that's not even a problem because we can simply mind flay. Good. Except Blue Blood, who took a single shot in the first round. Everyone's at full health. There's a secure storeroom ahead of you. Now, I think Gray Phoenix uses this plant as a supply cache. We're in a high traffic area. Someone took a big payoff to look the other way. Entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. God damn it. So we do not have Phalanx anymore. Might as well start with Verge going in first. Blue Blood second. We shall move in. Surprise Trooper. Surprise Trooper. Surprise the Legionnaire. Another Trooper. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? The Praetorian uh, Praetorian uh, should be lifted. I don't want to take the shotgun. And we might just start with the Legionnaire. Too bad. Come on. Let's hit this guy. Thank you. So everyone's marked, which is clearly not good. That's the cash. Get that door open. Destroy the door to stop reinforcements. Okay. Let's start with the obvious here. Uh, he's only partially stunned, that is not so good. Plasma grenade. If we throw plasma grenade... Well, that would at least deal some damage. Yep, good enough. Four is good enough. them how you feel. Appreciate the breathing room. Good, we're getting our neural network up and running. Cobra hits pretty hard, I like it. Yeah, this guy hits like a truck in melee. Ouch. H had we used team up? I don't remember that we had. Oh yeah. No, I don't remember that we had used it. Hmm. Strange.
So that would be two hits over there. In the meantime... You know what? I just don't want the reinforcements. Good. This here Dropping the hammer. should deal with both of them. Yep. There you go. No, the oh, the cobra is actually still alive. You know, one of the things that I'd like to do is get the Praetorian and take him out right away because well, that guy deals a lot of damage. So what's our chance of hitting him? 65%. It's not the end of the world if we manage it. That would be super valuable. <clears throat> Got another chance next turn. Chirok takes a lot of damage, so gotta deal something. Never mind, Chirok does not take a lot of damage. They're going for Verge, and Verge literally takes no damage whatsoever. Alright, Chirop gives himself a kinetic shield. Protecting I like that. Tossing flashbang. We have a fully loaded shield. Almost got the trooper. That's good. Let me try again. So the Cobra and the Trooper are very low on hit points. Let me try this here. Battle Madness. Come on, hit someone. Unfortunately missed. Well, that's okay. Now time for Mind Flay. Two of them are down. But they are still in the network, so he continues to get hit points. Ah, Virch is literally not having it. Okay, let's clear out the others first. <clears throat> Very nice. Yeah, that encounter here is one. They can't really do much against us now. Perfect, good. We can still heal Chirrup up for free. And then the Praetorian will be taken out. That's one of the coolest features uh, that she can take out really big targets like mutants, who used to be completely immune. Uh, to me uh, to melee or very very resistant uh, to melee Turret 
Turtling. All right, the only thing that we need to do is we need to take him out. And that's e easy. Once this guy is dead, everything else will fall in place. Four hit points per round, that's just crazy. There we go. And since he can't escape the grapple, the mission automatically ends. Pretty solid mission, I would say. The team is strong even without terminal and very resilient. <coughs> Good, minus two unrest, uh, almost 100 credits. Elerium and Intel. Well done. With Grey Phoenix deprived of their strongholds, they have much less ground to call home. Good, what are the da documents that we want? Uh, Dark Phoenix feels bold enough to hold, um, to use civilian hostages as pawns in their plans. Um, or they are having armor shredding impact. I much rather take armor shredding impact because the problem with hostages is um, I, I might lose a mission and that would end the campaign. Ooh, look who got his promotion. Blue blood. Uh, blue blood fires a pistol shot at every enemy in line of sight, limited um, by ammunition, only once per mission. Imagine that in the last room where he had he just needs an expanded magazine and then he can just uh, go to town face off is a super strong ability makes this character even stronger makes that character even stronger good we got a free item in the scavenger market and we got a couple of idle um, operatives. So first and foremost, we want to train additional operators, right? Given that we still have two level four characters there, might as well start training uh, Claymore. Let's go to the armory. And as much as it pains me, you gotta give all of this away. Instead, we're giving the loadout. I like, we're not giving him the expanded magazine. You know, I think we're going to go with the extra padding here. Just wait a second. So, MacWeave. Yes. MacWeave. Yes. Who has the other MacWeave? Oh, MacWeave. Okay, perfect. Good. Which means... Let's give him plated. Let's give him the plated vest that will create two armor. That's actually pretty damn good. Could also imagine, you know, to give him the plated. Oh no, let's not do that. Uh, they just received. Uh, the enemy just received armor shredding. Elsewise, having. Having our tank with three armor would have been pretty damn good. All right, nano med kit, yes. And drink rounds uh, make sense. He will take the unique pistol. And the question is, who needs the scope? Probably 
You know what? He's it's not bad to have him with a scope. Because mm, Nah, he could use his shield. You know what? We're we're giving it to our newcomer, Claymore. That way he's more useful. Okay, now that that is being sorted out. Spec Ops. I would still like to get more intel. We've connected Gray Phoenix to a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Okay, so another epic pistol. Well, that's great. I like it. Nah, I don't. I don't like that so much. So let's quarantine downtown, and we're actually going to to do the finders keepers uh, mission because another epic pistol is great. We do have in our main team two pistol users. Oh, that's a pretty damn good mission. I think we could keep our credits for now. Soon we're going to upgrade the weapons and then we will need the credits, so that's fine. Ethereum is incredibly high. I've never had that much Ethereum. But we've taken a lot of rewards. So very soon we're going to have a second research uh, facility here and then we're going to go with the second training center and a second spec op run. Good. That brings us to the end of uh, today's mission. Thank you for watching. Thanks uh, for your comments and your likes uh, down below and see you in the next week. Bye bye.